Hi everyone, this is Ashley with CT Marina Digitals. I'm going to show you how to use my Dodge and Burn action um, in Photoshop today. I already did most of my editing that I wanted to do um, on this photo, but as you can see, it's still pretty flat. Um, I'm wanting to bring up the highlights and deepen some of the shadows. Um, I do have just a regular Dodge and Burn um, action in here with gray layers to paint on your shadows and your highlights. Um, as you can see, this says use a soft black brush at 5 to 10% opacity on the darkened layer for the shadows and use a soft white brush at 5 to 10% opacity um, on the lightened layer to brush on the highlights. So I'm just going to press continue. Um, and I'll do this as an example first. So I'm going to do my highlights first. So I'll go ahead and click on the lighten layer. Make sure you have your white brush selected. I'm going to do 10% opacity. Make my brush smaller. And I'm going to brush on where I want to brighten my highlights. Obviously, mostly on the face, more on the light side that the light's coming from. I want to bring up the highlights in the highlights in her hair. And now you do this at 5 to 10% opacity because you don't want to do too much at once. It's better to keep brushing it on so you don't overdo it at first. Um, I do have a mask already. Um, I'm sorry, not on this one, I don't. If you want to brush it off at all, you would just create a layer mask and use a black brush to brush it back off. But I don't want to do that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to keep adding highlights. Keep adjusting your brush size to fit whatever you're brushing on to. I do my dress as well. I don't do as much down at the bottom of the image. That's just my preference. I like to have deeper shadows down there and not as much highlight. I like to come down the dress. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so as you can see, that added a lot of highlight. I'm going to add a little bit more right here on the dress. And now to add some shadows, switch to the black brush, and I like to start on the face. I use this on the eyebrows, get a little bit more detail in the face. Around the face, add structure in the, in the um, shadows in the hair. I'll do it like in the creases of the dress in some places.
Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing, um, but there's the darken, so you can get an idea. And that looks really pretty um, to me, but I'm going to go ahead because I have some in the actions. I have some quick play actions to just one click ones. Um, if you're just needing something quick and you don't want to go through all of the painting, um, I do suggest painting it, but I'm a hand editor. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. So that's gone. Um, so I have two boosts on here. Um, the first one adds just a little bit. Um, of the highlights and deepens the shadows. Um, and if there's anything that you, you can adjust the opacity on this. Um, if there's any parts that you don't want, the layer mask is already created, so you can just go ahead and brush it off if you want. Um, flatten, and then if you want it even more, you could play a boost two on top of it. And that's even more. See, as you can see, the boosts don't really get as much of the, they, they really get it on the parts of the photo that already really have the highlights shining through. So this doesn't get like as much as the dress. So I would definitely recommend doing the hand editing for that. Um, delete that. And you can also just play boost too if, if you wanted to. Um, so that's it.